What do the subways in Seoul, New York, and London have in common? They are all much larger and have more stations than the Tokyo subway. Tokyo is the largest megacity in the world, with a population of 38 million and has the busiest subway system in the world. Just to make the numbers clear, about 11 billion people are transported annually and the number is still rising. Nevertheless, Tokyo subway can shine with its high efficiency and low delays. But how does it manage that? Japan's capital has mastered the nature of mass transportation and are continuing to work towards perfection. I would call the Tokyo subway the best in the world. But what exactly makes it so perfect? One reason for Tokyo's success is its through trains. This means that commuter trains are not the only ones running through Tokyo, allowing for smooth transfers between neighborhoods. It also eliminates some unnecessary transfers during rush hours. Simply put, some lines can run both above and below ground, allowing for more clear paths and faster transportation. Through trains are now in operation on 10 of the 13 existing lines, and efforts are being made to expand them further and further. Unlike many other cities, they also do something much more important. The success of a Tokyo subway is further supported by the subsidies that the city pays to the subcontractors. Thus, they are encouraged by funding to continue expanding the railway network, even if other routes are currently not profitable for them. On the one hand, Tokyo only has to provide part of the financing. On the other hand, it benefits from the newly created infrastructure and new tax revenues. It also ensures that the city will be able to maintain the tracks, stations, and rail cars. The subcontractors, in turn, find it easier to invest in the projects and benefit from the line's soon-to-be-generated revenues. A classic win-win situation. It must also be said that the Tokyo subway is the only profitable subway operator in the world besides the Hong Kong subway. Now you have to imagine that the lines belong to over 13 different large companies, and none of them is willing to merge them because otherwise they would have to give up the huge profits. And yet, with one ticket, all passengers can travel not only relaxed throughout the Tokyo metropolitan area, but also in four other major areas. Imagine that in Europe or the USA, of course, the maintenance of the track, trains, and the stations must not be forgotten either. The track and tunnel infrastructure is checked every night and minor damage is repaired immediately. In this way, large and disruptive repairs are avoided. In addition, every four years, train cars are completely dismantled. They are hand inspected, clean top to bottom, and reassembled to ensure they run like new. Passenger behavior also plays an important role. Eating and drinking on trains is not good etiquette. There are also signs distributed throughout the stations with further recommendations on behavior. Although these rules are not strictly enforced, they have become established because they improve the travel behavior of all passengers. This not only keeps the carriages in good condition for longer, but also increases overall efficiency and passenger satisfaction. Just a fun fact for you. Do you know who designed Tokyo's railway system? Surely it was a famous and prestigious town planner, right? No, not really. It was actually designed by a slime mold. Yes, you heard me right. He solved one of the biggest problems urban planners had at the time by creating the most efficient routes to connect Tokyo's urban centers. But you know what? It actually did this after the railway system had been designed. So the most prestigious designers despaired for years, and a slime mold finished their life's work in less than 24 hours. Pretty funny and depressing, if you ask me. Not to forget the stations themselves. Safety gates prevent people from falling in front of trains or onto the tracks. They are guarded around the clock by security staff and guards who rarely have to intervene. Instead, they make sure that people get on and off the trains in an orderly fashion and that everyone is comfortable. By the way, thanks to Tokyo's ingeniously developed subway, its average number of cars per household is 0.54, which is lower than half compared to the numbers in other metropolitan areas. This will reduce carbon emissions by over 400 million tons of CO2 per year. For the sake of simplicity, I have dealt with the complete transit system as metro or railway system in the video. This includes the metro, suburban trains, private railways, and the central subway system. I did not elude fast routes or routes that go outside of Tokyo for long-distance traffic. But if you want a more detailed video on the subject, let me know. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and comment below. If you have any wishes or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to stay hydrated and subscribe for more content.